Hello and welcome to a video that I've been waiting for a long time for. It's going to be my first drive in my brand new M3 Touring. We are just at LHDK Customs who have just finished putting the PPF on the car. That was all in the last video. If you've seen that video, then fantastic. If you haven't, then I'll put a link somewhere here. Uh, today, I'm taking the wheel for the first time ever. So, I need to get myself comfortable. These seats are insane. I mean, genuinely, I've only sat in this car, I think, twice before. So, it has 15 kilometers on the clock. I'm going to be driving it about an hour and 20 minutes back home in Geneva. I've got the key in my pocket engine start button and then you're actually going to end up joining me oh Ooh, that sounds good you're going to end up joining me on my head and we're going to film this as a pov adjust my seating position now this seat you can adjust in like so many different ways not an electric steering wheel it's a manual steering wheel it is heated however i think we're basically all good uh, my license plate is set up in a slightly uh, sketchy manner but that's just because it's a temporary license plate that I have for 24 hours and then I'm getting the final ones so I didn't want to drill this in for no reason basically we're going to be driving it in comfort everything normal mode for now today I have 2,000 kilometers of braking period which I'm going to try and do uh, as quickly as possible first drive right now you're with me I hope the view is okay off we go in the BMW, I haven't even done my rear view mirror. Okay, let's adjust that. Woohoo! These seats are intense, but they feel great. Following the sat nav. Don't have much fuel, so we're gonna have to stop and fill it up very quickly. Okay, so just turned off that road really quickly, and it's uh, this feels pretty cool to be in my M3 Touring. Oh, here's a first test of how wide is this. Okay, it actually isn't as intimidating and wide feeling as I thought. You definitely feel that there's power there as soon as you start getting on the throttle a tiny bit. Sorry for this ugly plate, but it's I've just got to have that there. And also there's a little warning thing that's normal. That's because we PPF the back of the seat. By taking the seats out and putting them back in, they just need to adjust that back on the computer when I take it for the run-in service of 2,000 kilometers. Feels like these running things are getting just longer every time. So we're gonna go have to fill the car up, which is gonna be a an interesting but probably slightly terrifying first experience with this thing. Seeing how much a full tank on one of these costs. What's for sure is that the car play is just so good. I mean the screen is massive, super clear, not too bright. And then this in front of me gives me all the information that I need. Again, really nice and clear. I haven't set up my M1 or M2 buttons or anything yet. Um, I'll, I'll get to those in a little bit. Maybe when we get home, we can set those up later in the video. See how it all works. This is like, I want it to be totally unfiltered. You come along with me. Oh, I can't really see out the window much. You come along with me on my first drive on these beautiful Swiss roads. Okay. So here's a first test. How do I unfog my front windscreen? Okay, right here. That's easy enough to get to. Don't need to go via a screen or anything. That's cool. Whoa, I'm blind. That works well. And that's simple. I was worried I had to go through the whole system here to find that, but that works well. This is just so nice, guys. Oh, I don't know if you hear that, but on the gear shift, there's like a little I've got the exhaust currently open. I don't know if that changes much. Let's try M mode. Let's go M mode sport. So I've got road, sport, and track. Let's try sport. Oh, so my display here has changed into a slightly more sporty mode. Let's see what that looks like in track. M mode track. Does it change again? Oh no, it's asking me all sorts of things. Let's not do that because it's one degree. So let's not take any risks. So I'm in efficient, comfort, comfort, comfort in sport mode okay so my goal is to do the 2000 kilometers as quickly as possible so that we can have some good times with this car straight away but this interior is just beautiful i'm already using it practically see this stuff around there but we have a bmw another bmw fam right there my first time owning a bmw so i'm finally part of the bmw team okay let's stop to fill up already and actually to go down a few gears, let's put it in manual mode. That's done it, I reckon. Okay. 
just to see what these pan these carbon fiber paddles feel like this probably seems like the least planned video and that's exactly what it is <laughs> i really just wanted you guys to come along and live this experience as naturally as possible with me good news the paddles feel really nice <laughs> no surprise there okay now what's the damage wow look at this guys wow look at that every time you get out that's what you're welcomed by i will take it look guys there's something to like put this as i refuel which i know arrives on every car but it's my first day with my new car so i'm gonna enjoy the little things <laughs> okay 105 all right we're back in and it says 443 kilometers of range which is uh meh <laughs> not amazing but you know it's not the car i got to be the most economical now how do i do heated seats uh-huh oh, i see so it's already on there we go should we try the heated steering wheel? That's that button right there. So obviously I'm driving in four wheel drive mode. You can put it in drift mode and have it two wheel drive, but I'm going four wheel drive. See, I'm already using the practical side of this car with some more film from the PPF. You can just put that middle seat down, which is actually really useful. Whoa, the heated steering wheel is uh, pretty <laughs> effective. I feel like my hands are gonna burn off already. That goes straight on and the heated seat, same thing straight on okay guys i've just put it on like the self-driving mode and see like a tesla i don't know if you can see that i can see all the cars around me and it will show me so let me see if i put my indicator on if it will actually it's doing it for me i'm not doing anything i'm not doing anything okay i touched the steering wheel just in case but it's the car is basically driving for me so I set it at 115. I mean, I know I need to keep my hands on the steering wheel, but this is cool. I wasn't necessarily expecting it. It's very Tesla-like, this self-driving. At least that's what it feels like. I haven't been in that many cars with this system. It's my first time in this generation M3 as well. And my first time in a touring. So I think I'm just going to drive it home now, kind of get used to all the systems and then report back if anything specific pops up. And then we can try and uh, set up like the M1, M2 buttons, uh, to, you know, discuss all that stuff when we get home in a little bit and kind of have a play with all the systems. All right, guys, so the idea with this car is that I'm going to do a lot of kilometers with it. I'm going to stack the miles on. And so far, the Drive Assist Pro, or I'm not sure on the exact name, uh, anyways, the highest level of cruise control, basically. Literally, I didn't think it would be as, as good as it is. It's very predictable, you know, sometimes it's like slamming on the brakes and then accelerating again. Uh, same thing with the steering, it's kind of pushing you all over your lane and it just, it's, it's just not nice, uh, it's not pleasant to have on. This is just so well calibered and just so intuitive and, and feels great. I've basically haven't been doing anything for the last half hour. So if you're thinking of getting one of these and doing a lot of miles in it, this is fantastic. Sound system, Harman Kardon sound system is amazing. Unfortunately, that's not something I can show you because I'll get a copyright strike. Thanks YouTube. Take it from me, the upgraded sound system is also pretty epic. So, so far I'm really happy with some of the options that were ticked. And these seats, I was worried that they would feel too harsh, but they're amazing. You can adjust them in so many different ways. The heated seat works really well. You feel really locked in, but you're not it's not uncomfortable it's not too harsh so so far these are some of the best seats i think i've ever sat in so i'm a very happy camper right now guys so basically look if i'm driving like this if i let the steering wheel go oh someone's just pulling out in front of me that's a bit sketchy but if i let the steering wheel go after a while it'll put these little lights on to remind me to take the steering wheel again ready here they come boom there you go hand on the steering wheel and off you go again trucks pulled out from in front of me so now i'm going to be able to accelerate off we go. The car's doing everything by itself. Maybe you already have this on your car, but it's a first for me and feels great. And now we are home. We've made it back. We're in the, the car park here and I'm just gonna run through a few things. You know, when you get back with a new car, you kind of want to play around with all sorts of uh, different things on this. Now, specifically, I want to set up my M1 and M2 buttons. Now, this may change because obviously I don't know the car that well yet, but yeah, I have some ideas of how I'd like to set these up. And I will be making uh, all sorts of videos. So first road trip is gonna be coming up in two days. I'm gonna be taking this on a road trip. And then, you know, first 
uh, 2,000 miles, first 10,000 miles and all this stuff to really bring you along on the adventure with me. Now, first things first. So let's press this setup button here. And then, so this is kind of the mode that we we're in cruising over here, but let's set up configuration for M1. Now I'm thinking M1, I want to do two fairly sporty setups. So long story short, when I'm just getting in and cruising, I'm not going to touch anything. I'm just going to start it up in the mode that, you know, in the efficiency mode. So everything is nice and comfortable. M1, we are going to go engine sport, I reckon. Transmission sport as well. Sport three, chassis. Uh, it's actually already pretty uh harsh i found on the drive over here so i'm going to leave that in comfort steering we're going to put in sport brake we're going to put in sport and then we're going to leave it in all-wheel drive and we're going to leave the traction on so that's going to be kind of like a first um let's start stop we're going to put off m sound yes there's only one option for that right okay so we're going to leave that on basically i imagine this is like I don't know, wet weather almost, just trying to have a good time, have a sporty mode. I don't know if you're just uh, yeah, going for a cruise and you feel like having a little more sporty but not taking too many risks. This is like a, 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 a sporty setup without being too hardcore. So let's say it's your in-between. So there are already the road, sport and track modes that uh, BMW set up, the M modes. There's a lot going on here, so yeah. It's my first BMW, so I'm still learning all of this, so I'm sorry if I'm saying something's wrong. There's a lot to take in. Now, M2, I think we're going to go fairly nuts with. I want this to be a proper, like, hardcore... Okay, so Sport Plus engine, transmission, Sport 3, chassis Sport Plus, steering Sport, right, because there's only Comfort or Sport, yeah. Brake Sport. So we're going to be in not four-wheel drive sport but two-wheel drive okay there we go traction let's take that all the way off shall we start stop off m sound on boom now that is a you're feeling very confident you're clicking the m2 button but yeah that's going to be not for every occasion what's kind of cool is i have my bmw id set up so this is me right here this is the photo yes lovely and when i get in i select that bmw id and straight away off we go. Um, I all my my seat is set up. My aircon is in the temperature that I wanted it to be in. I've got my blue light, um, which I set up here because there are various different options. Look at this interior lighting. See, I can change all sorts of different colors. It's an M car. Blue and red are the M colors, so it'd be rude not to. We're going blue and red. The drive recorder. This is really cool. So I can record various drives if I want to. So look, this is one that we did in the dealership, and they showed me how this works. So this is actually an optional extra and means that you can, let's click play. Why is it not showing me? Anyways, long story short, there's cameras all around the car and you can record. So for example, if you're in a convoy or you're doing a lap um, on a track somewhere and you want to record your lap, you can record it directly on the car. For some reason it's not letting me play this one. So maybe I've just told you about a system that doesn't work well at all. What I like is that it's your actual spec on the car on the screen, which not many cars have. As you can tell, there's all sorts of different things. You can basically do whatever you want. This system, this BMW system is pretty incredible. I can activate pre-cooling for tomorrow morning. The idea is really to bring you on this journey with me. So even if this video doesn't seem like I'm going into too much detail on many things, it's because, you know, I've only done 100, the car has 133 kilometers now. I don't feel like I'm in a position to be speaking about this car like I'm an expert on it and I know it really well. So we'll be doing that after 10, 15, 20,000 miles when I actually have experienced the car and I actually know what I'm talking about when it comes to all of the systems, the different ways of, you know, of setting it up for different types of driving and things like that. But this was really just, you know, come along with me in a totally non-filtered, let's learn together, let's experience this together kind of way. So I'll be back with some more detailed knowledge about this car. We did the delivery video and the car app, uh, the PPF video. So if you want to see what this car looks like from the outside, the links will be down below for those. Let's start getting some miles on the clock, shall we? I'll see you for the next one. Take care, guys. Cheers.